Find out the one core value that keeps Doctors Without Borders successfully saving lives around the globe. Hint, it's something you can get right now for free. The Maximal Life is Purpose Driven. Hey everyone, Mazin here. Welcome to The Maximal Life. What is your purpose? Some people would say their purpose is to serve their families. Some might say their purpose is to accomplish a specific goal or fulfill a particular dream. Still others might speculate that our purpose on earth isn't something revealed to us until after we've witnessed the entirety of our lifespan. Today, I'm going to discuss some important studies which reveal that human beings require purpose and can suffer serious psychological and physical repercussions from living with ill-defined purpose. Defining your purpose does not need to involve an existential awakening or a profound shift in, ex in experience. Your purpose can even change from day to day depending on what is required for you to move forward. Daily purpose is a fundamental component of being your maximal self and living the maximal life. What science has revealed is that there is no purpose so small that it cannot enrich your human experience and add years to your life and bring great success. I've always loved the story of when President John F. Kennedy toured NASA space station in 1961. The president is taken through the laboratories full of the country's top scientific minds. The scientists showcase what they are discovering and what their research is revealing. He's toured through the impressive workshops where the country's top engineers are configuring some of the world's most technologically advanced equipment known to mankind. It is new and exciting, and up until that point, the stuff only imagined in a kid's wildest dreams. As he's walking through the corridor, President Kennedy encounters a janitor who's mopping the floor. The president approaches the janitor and like a child filled with a wonder from his NASA experience, he asks the janitor, what are you doing? The janitor looks at J.F. Kennedy and replies, well, Mr. President, I'm helping to put a man in the moon. The lesson here is that purpose is a mindset. The good news is you're always in control of your mindset. Another great president, Abraham Lincoln, once said, people are only as happy as they make up their minds to be. And since then, science has proven that believing in one's own purpose, no matter how great or small, is a huge factor in determining not only the quality of a person's life, but the longevity as well. In 1976, a physician named Robert Butler won the Pulitzer Prize for his book, Why Survive Being Old in America. This book was the result of 30 years of research and studies focused entirely on the health and longevity of people between the ages of 65 and 92 years of old. As his career evolved, his research led to important discoveries about what was required to live a long and healthy life. One of the key discoveries made by Butler and his research team was that people who had a strong sense of purpose in their lives lived longer than those who did not have clearly defined purpose. Over 30 years, this study was repeated dozens of times by many other researchers. The bottom line? The conclusion was always the same. Having a strong sense of purpose is vital to living a long and healthy life. No exceptions. Doctors Without Borders is an organization that recruits some of the world's top physicians who travel the world to poorly developed nations and offer their professional services to unprivileged populations. These doctors move away from months and years from comfortable lifestyles, nice homes, nice cars, prestigious positions, to get in the trenches of the world's most uncomfortable and unfortunate corners of the globe. The doctors on these missions are not highly paid. On average, they make about $2,500 a month so why, under these difficult conditions, do Doctors Without Borders often find themselves with a waiting list of highly trained specialists vying for their opportunity to embark on such missions? Because people need a sense of purpose. Albert Schweitzer once said, I do not know what your destiny will be, but one thing I do know, the ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. 
Over the past several years, there has been a major shift in business culture, a shift towards a purpose-driven work. With the evolution of the digital age, we are now more accessible to each other. This means we are able to exchange information and experience faster than we've ever been able to do before. The internet has brought us a great wealth of information right at our fingertips. It also means that we have become more accessible to the media and advertising. Cultural conditioning has been using this explosion of accessibility to curate a culture of dissatisfaction and fixation with material wealth. Never before in all human history, it has been more important to look like you have a great life than it is to actually feel happy and healthy. But today's go, go, go culture is beginning to catch up with itself. People are burning out, relationships are imploding, addiction issues are becoming more rampant. I recently read an interesting piece of Richard Leiter and Steve Bochas called the Rust Out Syndrome. Let me recap it for you. There is a silent killer in America. It's called rust out and is deadlier than burnout. Because rust out can wipe out your soul, your spirit. Rust out is the gradual decline in energy that takes place when we stop making choices and start mindlessly going through our tasks just to get through the day. We're no longer growing, we're just maintaining. In rust out, we're trading the sensation of life for the security of a paycheck. This should shake you to the core. Who would ever want to live out our lives trading all of the sensations that we have in life that has to offer for a paycheck? Now, maximal achievers are those who resist the grind mind, the rust out, the burn out. Maximal achievers embrace what's good about people in their lives, enjoy and curate the sensations of their surroundings and their circumstances. Maximal achievers view challenges as clear opportunities to grow. As maximal achievers, many of us do spend a significant amount of our lives at work. Now we know we always have the power to infuse meaningful purpose into our workday. There are many top-notch companies these days making a shift toward encountering and encouraging their teams to lead purpose-driven lives. Google, Amazon, and Zappos are among them. Their offices now include activities such as meditation zones, rock walls, basketball courts, yoga rooms, and healthy kitchens. All meant to encourage their staff to recharge and realign themselves with their purpose throughout the day. The results have been a significant increase in productivity, creativity, profitability, and overall better morale across the board. Having purpose is not just a pie in the sky ideal. It has beneficial applications for your company's financial health. People who work with a purpose are amplified with energy and dedication. When we spend a great deal of our lives at work, what we do at work becomes a great deal of who we are becoming and what we are contributing to the world. As human beings, one of the most purpose-filled intentions we can make is to contribute to the greater good of one another. In business, as well in our communities, Maximal achievers create winners all along their path. That's how we are always surrounded by winners. We are committed to creating wins for everyone and our life team. Our work is about having a place to productively and creatively apply our gifts and our talents in a way that contributes not only to our bank accounts, but also to our fellows, our families, our colleagues, our clients, and ourselves. Have you ever had a total stranger? make a kind gesture towards you that changed your entire day around? This is the power of one person with one simple purpose to show kindness. Purpose does not have to be all-encompassing or earth-shattering to cause major shifts in energy. The brain is a bank. We can only withdraw what we deposit. We are not robots. Grinding is a robotic action that drains us of our most enthusiastic and passionate forms of energy. Purpose is the leading conductor for enthusiastic and passionate energy. And energy is always the antidote. Make daily deposits of purpose into your brain bank and you will find yourself running on renewable, clean-burning, pure energy. Purpose is not something that needs to be found. It is something we build. Purpose can be cultivated in everyday living. But to find purpose, especially when we are caught up in the mundane, we must be seeking to build a life inspired by our purpose. 
Whatever your unique and amazing purpose is as a maximal achiever, your purpose is linked to uplifting people. Start connecting to your purpose by uplifting others, by seeking creative ways to serve your community, workplace, and family. In the workplace, you can express gratitude to your team members. Your attitude of gratitude is contagious and can uplift your entire company. In your family life, set the bar high for your family's culture. Discuss articulating each member of your family's purpose. For young children or anyone who is still discovering their purpose, you can articulate the purpose of this year, this semester, or this upcoming milestone. And finally, as a foundation, always take ownership of your own personal situation and make it a priority to align yourself with your purpose daily. You can take regular breaks dedicated to aligning with your purpose. Take a walk in the sunshine to clear your mind. Listen to some uplifting or relaxing music to refresh. Meditate to enjoy the sensation of emotional stillness. Or just go have a laugh with someone to ground yourself in the present moment. Ground yourself in your connections. Then consciously, deliberately ground yourself in your purpose. You can do something as simple as list the ways you are uplifting others today. Or you can brainstorm on ways to contribute to the greater good on a scale previously unimagined. Let these moments of aligning with your purpose serve as a reminder that you are indeed contributing to a greater good, that you are committed to build your life around your highest purpose. Thank you all for joining me today. It gives me a great sense of purpose when I align myself with others such as yourself who are dedicated to living the maximal life. If you like what you have seen and heard, please subscribe.